Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Letitia Marie, and I am back with a new haul for you guys today. Today's haul is going to be for Dollar King, and there's a lot of leftovers from Christmas that I've seen at this Dollar King, and they have a lot of goodies in these leftovers from Christmas. So if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified of all the new videos that I have coming up. And you do not want to miss this haul because this haul has a lot of goodies from the leftovers from Christmas and you do not want to miss out on these deals. A lot of these things in this deal in this haul, I know they're like one of them, I know for a fact that it's $26 on Amazon and they are selling everything in this haul for a dollar 50. A dollar 51, I mean. Dollar Kink is a dollar 51, nothing over a dollar 51. So, let's get into this haul and I'll show you all the goodies that I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up is this reusable hand warmer. And these are like army fatigue, like um, hand warmers. So I'm gonna open it up and show you. Oh, that one's taped down. I don't have any nails, so bear with me. So. You open that up, and these are the hand warmers. So it has like a army fatigue on the front, and you can see all the little jelly in the back. And I guess this little metal thing is what helps warm up the warm up your hands in the in the winter. So you just like hold them in your hands, and it'll keep it warm. But it has the instructions right here of how to do everything to make these things make your hands warm for the winter so these would definitely come in handy and for a dollar fifty you can't beat that you could buy it for everyone in the house and that way they stay warm wherever if you're going to the mountains or wherever you're going to go just to stay warm you could get these hand warmers the next thing i have in this haul is i'm teaching zoe to manage money and I found this in the haul and I just thought it would be good for her to help her save money versus going to the store and trying to spend the money every time she gets an allowance. Because I do give Zoe a dollar a day whenever she finishes her her chores and if she does not do her chores and not, if, the thing is, is if I have to tell her to do her chores, I don't give her a dollar for that day. But... If she just does her chores willingly without me asking her, and her chores is not like anything major like a teenager would be doing. It's basically like if she leaves her toys out like in her toy area over there, if she leaves her toys out and she doesn't put everything back where they're supposed to be, she's supposed to put that back. After she finishes her breakfast, she's supposed to put her silverware and her dishes and stuff in the sink so that I could put, I could wash them. The next morning when she wakes up, she's supposed to take all the dishes that are washed and put them in her little kitchen, The her silverware, put them in her little kitchen, and just help me put the, everything away. And she has to do at least one thing to help mommy every day. So when she gets her dollar, what I will be doing now is she's going to start collecting change too. I'm going to start giving her all of the change that I don't need. And she could start putting it in here. So basically what this does is it has a little counter on the top. So you just pour, put the money inside these little slots right here. And it counts like all the money up. So it does have instructions, but you don't really do anything as far as with the instructions. All you do is just turn this over, put a battery in there. And it basically counts the money that you put in there. So we don't really need to look at the instructions, but this is the bank and it's only $1.50 at Dollar King and it counts the money up. So this will be Zoe's. The next thing in this haul is a little mini vacuum. I bought this for myself for to complete to clean my computer off. It's a little tiny mini vacuum to make sure my computer stays clean. But Zoe saw it and she just 
wanted to get one of these too because she likes cleaning up little mess around the house too so she does have a bigger one that we share but she wanted one of her own so this is a personalized one that she could keep in her little kitchen and this i actually snapped this thing on here and i don't know how to get it off oh there it goes so basically this is how the vacuum is and then you snap this on there and this is like to get in the crevice of stuff so you just push it on there and then when the vacuum gets full you push this button on top pull it out dump it close it back so she does have a little mini one like this from the dollar king no dollar tree and it's just a little toy one it doesn't really pick up it doesn't pick up anything it just makes the noise so now she has one the exact same size that really does work for her and all you got to do is just plug it into like a usb so that she can use it and she does have like a little portable usb around the house somewhere that i could give her to plug it in i do have one of those little um portable charger so when your charger when your phone dies so i'll give her that one i can't get this thing off again so the next thing in this haul is i just thought i would be able to play a game with zoe you know how you the game you used to do back in the day where you take the candy and you just toss it and you try to make it fall into the person's mouth so instead of doing that game i thought i could get this this little doggy treat thing I know my daughter's not a dog. I'm just getting this just to play a game with her. Instead of tossing it into her mouth, I could shoot the treat to her. To her, I could shoot the candy to her and see if she could catch it. She doesn't have to catch it with her mouth. It's just a game that I could shoot it towards her. So I just thought it would be something fun that she would want to play. So basically, so you snap that off. You put the treats inside of here and then you just snap it back on it came off pretty good but it's not snapping back on pretty good okay oh there we go and you just shoot it like that and shoots the little treats out so for a dollar if you have any dogs or if you want to play games with your kids you could put your treats in here and then just shoot the treats and these are only a dollar fifty like i said everything in this haul is a dollar fifty one from dollar king so the next thing i picked up in this haul is say you're going hiking and you just wanted to carry something to drink inside your inside your little bag or whatever if you don't want to carry a bag all you have to do is pick this up this is like a where you could put like a big stick in the back you know like the ninjas back in the day how they used to carry this type of thing but um basically this is a soda can holder so let me open this up and show you so this is the soda can holder you just put the sodas inside of here and it holds up to six cans of sodas yeah holds up to six cans of sodas in there so i just thought this was a good thing to carry like if you're going hiking or something and you need to have something to drink and you don't want to have anything in your hand you can have this across your back and carry your drinks in there so the next thing that I have in this haul is I have a power drill and the power drill, the little screws, I've been doing a lot of DIYs lately and the screws are messing up. So I ended up picking this up. So I hopefully it fits my power drill. Actually, I'm going to grab it real quick. I'm curious if it'll fit because it says that it will fit like all power drills so this is my little pink power drill that I got from Amazon so it comes with all the power bits and sockets and stuff in here so I'm gonna 
open this up and just see if it fits. And if it does fit, I am going to go back and get another set because you never know when you're going to be doing a lot of DIYs and the little screwdrivers, like these little things, start getting warped. So if it does fit, I will be going back. So this is a small little one that it came with. So let's see. Oh, it does fit. It's a little long, but it does fit in there if it's snug too. So I will be going back to get another set since they are only a dollar. A dollar fifty. I keep saying a dollar. It's a dollar fifty one. All these dollar stores are raising their prices, so I have to think about that of the prices because I know Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty one and Dollar King is a dollar fifty one. So either way it goes. I think that Dollar King is a lot better because it has a lot of better things at the store that you will find like in Target, Walmart, or Amazon. So the next thing in this haul is going to be another tool related thing. And this is a set of 36 piece tool set. So I'm going to take my knife, not knife, but my scissors and cut this and open it up so say like if you need tools for your car and you don't want to carry like a big tool kit you could grab this and have a little small personal one inside the car that's what I bought it for to have it in the car instead of having a real big one depending on how the tools are so this is the little pliers that it comes with it's a 36 piece set so it has these little ratchet things in here. I don't know if I'm saying them right. But then it has some more of these little bits that I could use for my power drill. And another set. It also comes with a little blade. Some tweezers. These screwdrivers are super small, so I don't think that will work, but they will come in handy because I do have a tool, a little tool driver, screwdriver thing inside my door of my car. And then this is for all like all the ratchets and stuff. So this is a good little kit because it does have the big sizes because you can put the little ratchet, the little um, attachments on there. So this is a cool little set for $1.50. So the next thing I picked up in this haul is, I done this in the last haul, and it is a cup holder, a five-in-one cup holder. So I done like a little um, short video on this. And basically, it's a five-in-one cup holder. You can put your phone right there, you can put your cup right here, and then there's another spot right there. But it has a whole bunch of little spots, blah, spots, a whole bunch of little spots on here where you could just put your, your cups in. So it has this one, two, three, four. Four little spots on there. It's actually five because that silver one rolls out too. So it has five little spots. So basically this is the top one. This is the, oh, I guess the silver one doesn't. On the other one, I missed, I guess it must have been broken. Because the other one I have, the silver piece moves. So this is two. And this is three. And this is four. So four cups all in one. So that way most cars have two cup holders. That way one of them will be being used by this and then this gives you four cup holders all in one say like you're going to the restaurant and you need to put your soda down or your or any kind of drink that you have just go ahead and stick this inside the cup holder and it gives you like four different other little spaces to put your cups and if you're rushing to throw it in there and you need to put your phone down you can sit your phone down in there too so the next thing i have in this haul is, what was it, a 
hand warmers. Another mini vacuum. That was Zoe's. No, the other one was Zoe's. And this is a star projector, star projector nightlight. So Zoe has been getting scared thinking that there's ghosts. Because when she was in the daycare, the teacher had told her that around Halloween that they talking about ghosts and stuff. So ever since then, she's been getting scared of ghosts. And I wish the teacher didn't tell her that because... She was a fearful kid until she started talking about these ghosts and stuff. So now Zoe is going crazy and sometimes she gets scared of ghosts. And I keep telling her that it's not real, but she keeps on thinking it's real. But because of that, I picked up this little three in one. It's three modes on here. It's um, four super lights, LA. So it lights up in four different colors. It also has three light modes. I guess it does like some kind of little swirl or something with the modes. And it's a 360 projector. So here it is. So this is a little projector that lights up the room. So what I'm going to do on a lot of these things that I got from the 99, 99 from the Dollar King. What I'm going to do with a lot of these is I'm going to come back and I'm going to do like little shorts on my YouTube of like all the little demonstrations of it. Because with this, I think that you need, yeah, you need batteries. And I like the fact that you could put batteries in here. That way you don't have to have a long cord pulling from it. So you just put the batteries down here and then you have your little projector. And it has the months on here. I don't know what that has to do with, but it has months on here. Anyway, but it does have the months going all around the sides of this. So I'm not sure why that's on there, but anyway. On to the next thing in this haul. The next thing I did do, uh, um, Actually, I did another video from the Dollar King haul, and I did do this Dollar King haul regarding, <coughs> sorry, this is a armrest, armrest table. This is the one that I said that was on Amazon that they have for $26. It's $26.99, so $27 they have on Amazon. This is very sturdy. It's not made out of cheap material. It's very sturdy it's not flimsy or anything and this is only a dollar fifty it has like one two three four four slots on this side and it also has let me open it up and show you so basically it comes like this so you're going to open this up and push it all the way down and this one all the way down and then you have one, two pockets right there. Then you're gonna turn it around to the other side. And then you have three, four, five pockets, six pockets, and this is your table. So it's seven little spots on here. So when you wanna have like something to eat and you don't feel like pulling out a little table, you could just sit this on the edge of the couch these little things right here go over the armrest of the couch and you have your portable little table. Portable little table. So this is a must have. And believe you me, for $1.50, I have two of them and then I have a backup just in case it gets ripped. But it's good quality so I know I'm going to have this for a long while. So the next thing I picked up in this haul is, you know on TikTok how they have these 90s checks as far as with the music and everything. You're, they're trying to give you quizzes on if you know all the songs from the 90s. They have this 100 question loving, loving the 90s quiz. And it basically tells you everything as far as music, movies, and trends that they had in the 90s. So whenever your friends come over, if you want to play a game, 
and you want to just see if anybody knows about the 90s you could pick up this game right here and it tells you like a lot of things from the 90s and tries to see if they remember anything about the 90s so i picked two of these up for some reason i learned my lesson when i go to the dollar king if i buy something if i don't get it right then I'm not going to be able to find it again. So I picked up two just in case I misplace one. I have a backup. So I think that is all. So that concludes everything that I have in my Dollar King haul. I hope you guys loved everything that I picked up in this haul because these are must-haves. And if you have a Dollar King in your area or even if you don't, Google Dollar King and make sure that you go check out the store and make sure you find if you don't find any of these, you're going to find something really good inside the Dollar King. Because a lot of the things at the Dollar King are like items that you would see at Target, Walmart, and all the regular major stores. But everything in this store is $1.50. So thank you for coming to my channel. And I just wanted to let you guys know too, this is not sponsored. So Dollar King, if you want to sponsor me, please sponsor me. Because I do a lot of your hauls and I love going to your store. So I would love to work for you guys. I would love to be sponsored by you guys. So if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified of all the new videos that I have coming up. Don't forget to stop by Dollar King and pick up all these goodies that I have in this haul. I love you guys and I'm out. Deuces!